another one of my walking vlogs. I'm getting very used to these now. And I've decided today uh, to come <coughs> a different route. If you remember from um, Walkie Talkie Poly 2, we, I took you to Crime Lake. I showed you that. Um, and uh, this time I'm going to walk through Daisy Nook, which is this the country park that um, Crime Lake is a part of. It was called something else originally Crime Something Reservoir, which apparently in the olden days, whatever that meant, meant. Right, I'm just at the stairs now, where I took you down. So we're going, and we're going to walk right through Daisy Nook Country Park, um, and then when I come out the other side, I will end up on a, a big main road called Ashton Road that leads down to Ashton. And uh, I will ferry my way back home that way. Um, but I think it might be nice for you to see where's the cameras there so i have my phone different ways sometimes and then the buttons of the crime lake let me uh let me turn the camera around for a minute and give you a nice view turn around camera please So yeah, this is um, this is Daisy Nook, and in summer, oh look at beautiful horses up there on the hill. Uh, in the summer, it gets quite busy down here, and because I'm from down here, um, this was a regular haunt uh, when I was a kid. Oh look down there as well. Oh there were some pigeons there then and they just ran off. Look at those lovely horses. Another turn around. No fishing allowed. The sand says the and there's Mr. Swan and Mr. Duck, Mrs. Duck. Hey Mr. Swan. Hey Mrs. Duck, you okay? They're great. They're just great. And now uh gets a bit kind of samey. As in there's a there's just a kind of what would you call it, a canal? I don't know if this was ever actually used as, as an actual canal, like a canal way. Uh, I think it was more, uh, that was a reservoir. How beautiful would it be though to live in that house there, on that hill, with horses and sheepses ducks and everything. Lovely. Yeah, and a lot of people still walk through uh, this area. Although, uh, underfoot at the moment, there's a lot of puddles. It's still a really lovely place to walk. I've got a couple of very, very vivid memories from down here, which I will share with you when we get to the places where those memories exist. It's, um, but it is quite a nice walk through, through here. <laughs> I 
Hey, gooses. Gooses, gooses. Sound the static shock. No more camera. What I'm saying is turn around. There, look. Gooses. Lovely little gooses and a lovely gorgeous little duck. One another. A duck and a mallard. Is that right? Is that right, my darlings? One of you is a duck. Yes, I'm live, Pan. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, look. Underneath the... I don't want to disturb them, but they're underneath the tree there. Beautiful. And here are the gooses. Hi, geese. You're live on YouTube. Well done, you're a star now. <laughs> you're a star now, you gorgeous thing. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, you're going home to... <laughs> I didn't realise there was something there then. Hello. <laughs> Somebody sat on the bench. Guy sat on the bench there and has me chatting shit to geese. Um, have a safe journey home, uh, Ashling, Ashleen. It's Ashleen, is that how you say it? I know it's spelled Ashling, but is it Ashleen, like we commonly have over here? Um, and yes, safe journey home. I hope you haven't booked your flight home with uh, Thomas Cook, because that would be dreadful. away as we walk. <laughs> that, that guy must have thought I was a right nutter then. I'm sure lots of people talk to wildlife, don't they? It's just, it's a thing we do. Well, Mildred, unnecessary arrival call. Everyone could see you. Oh, there, that little lady moving there now was the one that just arrived very loudly. They're all looking at, oh, must be a bit of a cocky one here. They've all just moved along the um, wood for her. Daisy Nook Country Park, it really is a lovely place to come and walk. And we used to um, we used to cycle down here quite a lot too. Uh, we, me and Jason used to run a cycle club in Oldham, cycle club Oldham, funnily enough. And um, uh, we don't anymore. Uh, it all started going uh, downhill not long after the horror, and some of the people there, unfortunately, were very uh, rude, really. Um, because we had a couple of months off and uh, couldn't really be going out doing rides. Some people actually got very rude and just said like, you should be over this now. Why aren't we doing rides? And we pulled away from it. We just kind of had enough and uh, never went back to it. Right, here is memory one. This, this is a really good one. So this, which a lot of people still fish in, unfortunately, is called Sammy's Basin. And you can see there's wood. There's like a wood path all the way around. That's where the guy stood there. There's a wood path all the way around it. And I just have very, I can smell that smell. There's a smell down here and I think it's these pink flowers here. Oh, and it's so reminiscent of my childhood. That smell. Uh, and this place, Sammy's Basin, I remember one particular hot, hot summer day, beautiful, loads of us down here. And we were all stood on that side over there. 
with our uh, swimming um, wear. Oh, look at her in Porto, stuff in her face with vegan goods. Shut up, Pan! <laughs> making, making us all jealous. Um, we were all stood over there in our swimwear. And I was a confident swimmer and I remember getting in the water. And I remember the sounds of the screaming. And I remember the sound of skin against uh, inflatable things, you know, like rings and things. I remember that, that squeaking sound. And the laughter and... It was just a beautiful day, etched onto my memory. Absolutely etched onto my memory. There's all these things as well, which are like when the water gets hard, it comes down these um, these stairs, and then you go over the bridge, and it goes down to another little, little pond here. With more stairs, it's like a tiered water system down here. It, I don't know whether they've just decided to let it go a lot around here or whether they don't bother doing work on it kind of at the end of summer. Uh, they wait until the, the spring or maybe they do it through the winter. It's looking very unkempt and kind of pond-like. You know, there's a lot of algae and scuzz on top of the water and a lot of long grasses and stuff. And if that's the way it's supposed to be for the wildlife, brilliant. But it looks like they've just let it get unkempt. So we're nearly at the, what, the next. I mean, I've got memories right through this park, uh, all the way through. Because um, it really did play a huge significant part of my uh, of everyone on Lime Side's childhood actually it's um, Daisy Nook has just always been one of those places where all the kids gather these like I mentioned in my vlog the other day the Easter Fair comes down here uh, just at the bottom end there's a big garden centre here lovely one really lovely garden centre there's a little light cafe down at the bottom here I'm going to pass all these things. Uh, and this is the bridal path here. So. Now, you're going to think this random, and I don't care. You know me well enough by now. And you know what I'm like. You know, I'm, a, I'm an oversharer. And I'm deeply in touch with my emotions. And I'm completely unafraid of talking about that. So, this morning, when I was thinking about bringing you down here, to this particular part, where there's another significant memory, I... The best way to say it is... I, the way I heard Oprah Winfrey say it years ago. I cried for the me I used to be. But I also cried at the thought of this memory because it was my first experience of direct bullying by two girls that I loved dearly and were my very, very close friends. And I'm imagining <clears throat> That I was about <clears throat> to be honest with you it can be it could be anywhere between 8 and 11 and we came down here this used to be a lot clearer than it is now hell of a lot clearer here we go right we came down here and we're paddling in this water right here it was always at this point. There's another point where you can go kind of under, there's a bridge there, you can go underneath and it gets very, very deep. Let me see if I can take you down there and show you. I think there's, yeah, there is a way to get across. You all right? There we go, there's the bridge. So, as, 
as I recall, the water's pretty deep under there. And we used to swim in all this and under the bridge there. But over there, on that side of the water, and again, it was a, these trees can't have grown that quick, can they? Oh yeah, 40 years. Um, anyway, so I'm over there with my friends, Anne and Donna. And Donna's sister, Kathy. And I took my trainers off to go in the water. <clears throat> and Anne and Donna took them away from me. And wouldn't give them me back. And they said, in the end, walk through these stinging nettles and you can have them. And this went on for... I don't know how long it went on for. Probably about five minutes. And I remember getting really upset and thinking, why are you doing this? Why, why would you do this? And then, to my memory, Kathy snapped and said, give him his trainers. I probably threatened parental revelation. Ugh. Oh, these stairs, man. And so, I got them back. <coughs> and I was a kid. So, it didn't bother me so much. Uh, we were friends again, you know, a couple of hours later, but then <laughs> there was a girl, oh, I'll never rest for a minute, there was a girl called Claire uh, who lived near me and somebody said to me one day that she'd pushed my nephew who would have been about three at the time and everyone was goading me and this is why I now understand bullying everyone was goading me it was her that did it get her Paul, get her and I pushed her I pushed her shoulders and I made her cry and she ran home and then her mum shouted to me Paul leave her alone and I cried myself to sleep that night because I couldn't handle what I'd done uh, and it bothered me for years and then as, as whenever I first joined Facebook many years ago I found her and messaged her and I said Claire that still plays on my mind to this day that I did that. I'm so, so sorry. And she was just like, Paul, oh, seriously, love, we were kids. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I felt better for apologising. Uh, so, yeah, a great memory and a shit memory from down here at Daisy Nook. But most of the memories are pretty good, to be honest with you. <coughs> um, maybe I'll, oh, no, I will do the Ashton Road thing, I think. Nice little kids play area here. Wooden shape, climbing frames. On a, on a hot day, this is packed. All the parents sat around here on this uh, this little wall here. And all the kids having a whale of a time. And this is the uh, visitor's centre. Which is like a little cafe. I don't know how they survive in winter, bless them. But it's a nice little 
nice little cafe, nice little seating area. Really, really lovely. Little cafe hatch there. Some public loos. If you've ever seen my um, severage, sewerage, and um, sewerage video, uh, we parked right here to film it and just walked over that way. So we're not going to be going that way today, but we walked through the rest of days and all that way because it's um, it is a very big park. I mean, I've, I've took one path there. And there are lots of uh, different paths. So I hope that these vlogs, uh, despite being uh, reasonably interesting, because I'm, I'm sure they are, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm sure they're boring. They're not boring. I'm not a boring person. Thank you. Um, I hope that they inspire some of you to walk uh, a bit more that would be fabulous because um, it's such a good form of exercise and it's such great cardio I'm trying to figure out now whether to go this way back down there which will take me back to the top of the staircase I've just come from or go this way which will is a big long main road that leads me on to Ashton Road another really big long main road Oh, you know what? This hill here, it doesn't have to be a massively long walk. This hill here is quite enough on its own. So I'll go, I'll go the scenic route. I will, I'll go the scenic route. So I'm now walking around the outside of Daisy Nook and we'll pass the um, garden centre in a minute. And we'll pass the field where the Easter Fair uh, always used to be and I think I think it still is I mean I haven't been for years you know literally three decades plus I haven't been for but I'm sure it's in exactly the same place another great big gorgeous house uh, just kind of nestled into the country park lovely Pan, you keep writing these big long paragraphs, love, and I, ho I hope you're talking to someone else in the um, in the chat because I can't read them for too long. Uh, as I've mentioned on all of my live videos on my blog, the chat disappears very quickly. So if I'm meant to read them, darling, it will have to be when I get home. I can read short sentences and then they're gone. But if you're chatting amongst yourself, that's fine. That's good. I like that. Um, there's the garden centre. The entrance to the garden centre. Across the road. It is a, it's a lovely garden centre. It's very big. Very, very big. It's good. There used to be a little shop down here too, actually down on this bottom corner, which I think is still there, but now it's just a house, I believe. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you watching, and for those who see this between now and 5 of the p.m., at 5 of the p.m., we have our latest um, edited video dropping, which is uh, our family dinner from yesterday. Uh, so if you've seen the, our community section on our channel, you've already seen a picture of the dessert. Um, but it's very interesting as well what we did for Starter and uh, what we did for Maine and everything went down really well. And it's not a massively long video. There are no long drawn out shots of us eating and chatting. It's just kind of a 12 minute edited video, showing the food, getting people's reactions to the food. Um, and I'm putting it on at 5 p.m. because I've read that that's the best time uh, in the UK because people are just finishing work 
and in America they're just on their lunch breaks so you know chance for the biggest audience to promote a big vegan family meal with four non-vegans and two vegans little bridge I'm sure that the house I was talking about before used to be here on this corner Ah uh, oh I'm I'm assuming that look this looks very small. This is the field. All of this here on that side of the road where the um Daisy Nook Fair usually is. small to me it's probably right to be honest with you I, I don't know if it if that's where it still is I should imagine so actually that's big enough for because it's only um is it called Sinclair's fur and they just have waltzers and a speedway and a gravity wheel and uh, some kiddies rides and lots of stalls for Throw the thing over the, the ring over the thing and all of that stuff. Uh, now I have to cross over because on this side there is no path. It disappears. Look, grass. Whereas on the other side of the road there's a path. Always best to use the path, kids. So yeah, that was a little tour around Daisy Nook Country Park. See, doing a vlog about this gives me intensive to keep coming out and walking. And keep coming out and walking is definitely helping with calorie burnage and uh, maybe not weight loss, but weight sustainment. It's, um, yeah, I think I was feeling a bit, I was feeling a bit kind of, not down in the dumps, just not as happy as I could be this morning anyway, which is often the after effect of doing a fabulous pride show. That's another way in there take you across a little stream there and that stream goes uh, uh, all the way up, up there and that would take you to the bridge that I just took you under which about my bullying experience <clears throat> just making sure there's an actual path I've not walked up this road for years. Ah, now the path switches again. It ends on this side. It starts again over here. Okay, let's do that. And it's very wet down here. This area over here, walking away from the fair when we were kids, saw my first uh, dead rabbit with massive swollen eyes, eyeballs. And then somebody said that was uh, mix them a tortoise. That stuck with me, I don't know. Random factoid there. I think it might have been the first dead thing I ever saw. The rabbit. Maybe that's why it stuck with me. Don't splash me. Sometimes they go for you, don't they? Because they know you're walking. 
See how fabulous the green it is, though. Around here. Both sides of the road. It's just... Uh, it's a lovely place to walk. And it's... The yeah, air... So clean here. Because it's kind of in a dip. As well. You're in this kind of dip. It feels like the fumes from outside can't get in. You know what I mean? So you're... You've got all this pure oxygen that the trees are breathing out. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of water flowing down the road here. You see it? Yeah, look. I'm trying to figure out whether it's just rain or whether there's a leak or something somewhere. Or it's overflow from up there. This walk is, but I've got a mild sweat on. So good. These are them pink flowers that I can smell. If anyone knows what they are, let me know. Are they called snapdragons? I've got that name in my head for some reason. And it's when you pop one of the bits that hangs in the you get that smell. I'm sure. Or is that just some kind of weird memory I've got that's not even real? Yes! These! It popped in my hand! It actually popped in my hand then, that must be like a seed... Um, ...thing. No, I can't smell that smell. I wonder if that comes from the flowers. I've associated that smell I mentioned before with those for years. And now that might not be the case. There's a very certain smell down here. And it's lovely. It's, um, it's very, very floral. And earthy when you start getting out of here you start feeling, smelling the farms but this is very different Ooh, the lovely sun through the trees nice and look how deep down that goes of hundred calories burned, I'd say. How long have we been on? 34 minutes? Cool. Yeah, these, uh, these walks are great. Just get out and have a walk for half an hour if you can. Breathe in some fresh air. Lovely.
And that, my dears, brings us back to uh, Stanley Brook Road and the stairs that we went down at the beginning of the walk. So we've just done a circuit of Daisy Nook Country Park. <clears throat> I've got uh, I've got quite a dark story about this place. Uh, not as it is now, but when it was the Crime Lake pub. I'm going to reserve that for my Made of Movies series which I'm going to be starting in the not too distant future because uh, I've psyched myself up with the idea now of, a, of an organic book creation through a series on YouTube and you all know I like to talk so Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be good to get that started. And uh, starting at chapter one, of course. I don't know what chapter that will be, but it will be one of them. My uh, sister used to work there behind the bar years ago. And it was also her regular owner as well. Look at all the green though. So much green. And then there's these fabulous pots of colour. <laughs> Somebody just waving. We've got um wild apples, wild old crab apples. And then this fabulous tree. Very vivid. Oh, she pretty. She a pretty tree. And this is uh, this here, Woodhouse Green, is a uh, boarding kennels and cattery. to be out in it and there's a plane just about to land at Manchester Airport at least they're not coming back to rain like those poor souls last night had to do and all those people Thomas Cook how dreadful is that isn't it funny as well that the UK economy can afford to bail out the banks twice <laughs> with billions of pounds but they can't afford to uh, ensure 22,000 people keep their jobs and hundreds of holiday makers 
get home safely and securely. I saw a video this morning where a hotel in Tunisia had locked people in. The coach had come to get them, to take them to the airport, and this hotel had locked people in. It wasn't letting them out. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. some nice views while we're still out. I'm going to get back now and uh, have myself a matcha. Have myself a matcha. And uh, get that video uploaded ready for uh, publishing at um, five o'clock. I'm considering making it a premiere because apparently if you make something a premiere at a set time you you then watch it with everyone else who's watching it and you can chat like a live video apparently so maybe I'll do that uh, or I'll just upload it uh, and set it to publish it to five because uh, that might be reasonably interesting. But if you think I should make it a premiere, let me know down there when we're done. Try and keep you some greenery. Some greenery in view. This fallen and I've picked up green well. Which is lovely. Right, my loves, you've seen the next bit. Um, yeah, I, I, I saw that then. Uh, I, I will probably premiere it. I'm going to end this now. 43 minutes, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Now I want to get on and read what you wrote. <laughs> Love you all, bye.